Hey there, Todd at BizLadder. This video is going to talk about Wix Editor X and how to effectively create a sub menu on a page uh, using buttons and grids, and specifically how to add buttons to that menu or delete them, as the case may be. So, grids in Editor X are really powerful. They have a lot of different use cases. This is a very specific use case. This may or may not be right for your business. Um, there are a lot of decision points in terms of how it appears, how your objects interact, what's nested where. That's not what the focus of this is going to be. We're going to talk about, we've got it. It works for this website. It's, it's serving its intended purpose and how do we edit it? So why do, why do we have a grid here? Well, it just helps us maintain spacing in the responsive design. You can see it'll automatically shift to multiple lines. Well, it shifted us down, down the page, but you can see we're maintaining consistent button spacing across even as the screen size changes for the vis different visitors. So how do we get to the grid? How do we change things, right? You have to click on the container itself. If you click in the button, you just have to follow the breadcrumb trail back up to container. You can see if you click the section that the container is nested in, it will ask you if you want to apply a grid in that section. The section, the container, these are objects that can have grids themselves, obviously. So we, our grid is set up inside the container. We're going to adjust grid. You can see it tells you it's a seven by one. You can flip it easily to one by seven, transpose it if you need. We're gonna click edit grid. I've got padding built into the grid, see gaps here. So that's why it looks like it has these little extra columns here. I've, I'm using the, the mechanism, double click right there. I'm using the mechanism or the measurement of fractions just to maintain consistency. You can see when I mouse over, I get a little plus button to add. I'm going to add. I'm going to duplicate a button. I'm going to drop it into that grid. I'm going to make sure I am at consistent margins. 0 0.23, 0 0.23. You can see I'm anchored to the top. And then you just edit the button as you would any other button in a Wix website. Change the text, change the animation, change the link, right? So let's back out all that. And then deleting is much easier, as is often the case. We're going to adjust grid, edit grid. And we simple, simply click delete column. I'm not going to do it. It's pretty straightforward. It just deletes that column. It may or may not leave that button, um, but you can just exit out, done, and then delete the button if it leaves it. So. One thing to always make sure of in any Wix site, but especially in Editor X, check your responsiveness, check your other breakpoints. Full disclosure, this site has not gone through the final uh, breakpoint check yet, so these are gonna be off, but check your breakpoints, right? See, I'm, I'm extended beyond the canvas there. And check your different sizes within those breakpoints, right? Again, this has not been optimized yet, but be sure to check within those breakpoints. And that's it. Any questions, reach out to Todd at BizLadder, 302-307-3247.